from time to time when we're doing installations we run into problems where uh, installers may have a problem with the screen not recovering properly or it seems as though the backup camera is not emulating properly so in this case we're working on a hellcat srt charger the uct v2 so we initially just installed it when we bring up the screen comes up give you this okay you notice here it's missing some the heated seats uh, the vented seats the GUI is blue which should normally be red okay so that's the standard uh, default profile so we're going to go in setting up the UCT in this case the vehicle is only going to use the internal relay we're not uh, adding the SVS or the AVSW to aftermarket of course we're a real camera front camera we're turning on and then exit this kit automatically reads the VIN number of the vehicle and sets up all the buttons accordingly okay we turn this off open the door okay we get wait for this the bus to go to sleep now even though the bus goes to sleep doesn't necessarily mean that the radio is sleeping the radio is doing processes in the background, it could still stay up. So now we press the button again, bring it to ignition. Now you notice that we have our accessories, our heated seats, our vented seats. Our display is now different. You notice that now we have the red uh, GUI going to apps. Safety and driving. You'll notice that the line is missing for the reverse camera, even though we already set it up. Okay, that may be a situation that you run into. So what we have to do, we can do one of two things. We can either we can shut the vehicle down, exit the vehicle, and let the vehicle sit. Now, as you notice, when it shuts down, it says SRT now before it said Chrysler, because now it's getting the the proper car configuration. How that works is every time you start the vehicle the can every time the can comes up the radio receives the vehicle's car configuration and that's how all the options are set up in this monitor that's why uh, it's imperative that you always let the can bus go to sleep wait five minutes close it up don't touch it and bring it back up uh, whenever you change any of the options because it only sends it on startup and that, that's when the radio reads it to configure itself Sometimes this has to happen more than one time. In this particular situation, because it is a, a Hellcat, it's an SRT, we have to go through a whole process. So we're going to bring this back up. It's been a couple minutes. And notice it's still not here. And you may run into that. So we can wait, close it up and wait. Or if you want, let the bus go, go down, reset the mod reset the screen not the module just the main connector that goes our t harness from where the factory connector comes in to our female receptacle t horn of the t harness unplug plug it back in now we're going to go back to the default state again bring it back to ignition notice here this is the default state it's blue again Okay, we're missing our icons again, our, our functions. Okay, and then it's back to blue. So we shut the radio back down, open the door, close it, wait for can to go back down. The, the LED is a good indicator of if the can's running, also the cluster turning off. Uh, but like I said, sometimes the radio processes stuff in the, in the background. In this particular case, what we're going to do, uh, all we're worried about is getting the car configuration file. So we just literally have to wait for the bus to go to sleep and bring it back up. 
Oh, no, the radio still wasn't. So we have to do go still back wasn't down ready. again. Yep, still wasn't ready. Ignition. Now we have our icons back again. Our options. Press accept. Let's see if our camera is emulated yet. Apps. And this is an easy way to tell if the camera got programmed or not into the system without having to put it in reverse or what have you. Go into settings, safety and driving. And now we have park view. We have two more options here. So now we know that our backup camera has been programmed. Everything is working. Now we can test it. In this case, you have to have the vehicle running. Okay, place the vehicle in reverse. And now we have backup camera. Now for the 17 vehicles, the 17 Charger, Challenger, 300, uh, Viper, uh, because it uses the new Panasonic radio, they went from Harman Becker to Panasonic, it's a new design, new manufacturer, uh, we had to map some things out because our dash here is now different. Uh, what we used to have where you had the screen off and the back button, um, and then this was mute, now has been changed to where now, where our mute button used to be is now the radio power on and off. Now our mute and screen off. We found that there's a variant between the different platforms as of 16, 17. Uh, so in order to make it more universal and more consistent across the lines, we then moved the functions from the screen off back buttons to now front defrost, rear defrost, and uh, recirculation. recirculation. So now, in this case, we don't, we're, we're not we're doing auxiliary. We're only doing front and rear camera. Front camera is double tap, front defrost. Double tap again to, to clear it. Rear defrost, double tap. Double tap again. Now, if we had auxiliary connected on this and it was enabled in the cluster in which you require the AVSW or the SVS6, you would then double tap the recirc button to toggle it on and off. Now we still kept the VIM function that still goes through the mute. Instead of pressing and holding here, now you're just gonna press and hold the mute button down for three to five seconds. That will toggle VIM on and off. Now on this vehicle, being as it does not have any type of media playback, it will allow you to input navigation information as you're traveling down the road. So your destination, if you have a passenger, you're going down the interstate and you want to go somewhere, you can have your passenger input the information then. Also to get into the menu settings, you will press and hold this mute button as well for 15 seconds to get into the cluster options. Okay. 